All right, so I wanted to make another quick, uh, I was thinking about calling these life hack videos because <laughs> they just they just bounce all over the place and uh but you know i, I i'm hoping to ed that i'm educating you as i educate myself uh because i mean it just seems like i just navigate shark infested waters constantly so let's just get to the shark infested waters first and then you can cut the video off because i'm just going to talk about other st stuff that i think that uh, you might want to know so today, uh, the insurance company and my mom called me and uh, they said they were denying my claim for liability. And, uh, and, and I really wasn't looking for money. I was actually, I just wanted them to pay for my doggone hotel room up in woke Char Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, that cost me so damn much money after UVA Health threw me out the door and I was going to be sleeping in a tent or put it on my credit card and stay in a, a you know hoity toity hotel until the doctors would allow me to to leave town you know i mean i i i've been under house arrest more in the last year than in my entire lifetime and i was a juvenile delinquent <laughs> you know what i mean so oh my god you know even the mps they didn't throw me in in, in the, the slinger this long but um so you know we were talking on the phone and I, and I said well you know that's fine and she says well i can get you this little bit of money and uh and i said well look i said you know there's something i don't understand here i said if you pay liability insurance i said up in michigan if somebody slips and falls in front of my house and they want to sue me i said i thought that was what the insurance company was all about and she says yeah but you know the way that you describe things uh we're denying your policy based on that now I guess it's kind of like talking to the FBI. <laughs> Don't talk to the FBI. Oh my God, make sure there's a lawyer present, right? So it's, I guess it's the same damn thing with the insurance. I mean, I should have known better. I mean, when you talk, but how it all got started, I didn't even know I had a claim, okay? Because I was talking to my tax people because, you know, the Democrats, we've got 80, what, 87,000 new IRS agents coming on board. And uh, I was thinking, man, you know, with all my medical bills and all the stuff that's going on, I said, I better dot my I's and cross my T's because for sure I'm going to get audited because, you know, I make less than 20000 a year. God knows if you make less than 10000 a year, they're probably going to have five IRS agents on your ass. Now, if you make 100000 you got nothing to worry about. So anyway, <clears throat> so they said, well, yeah, you need to call and, and, and you know, see if you got a claim. <laughs> so that's basically all I was doing. I was just calling up and saying, look, you know, I fell down my mom's stairs. There was no rail in there, um, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And so, the, so basically what she was saying in the conversation was a lot of things that she said that I said and that she took detailed notes. And I, I, and I was like, well, I don't recall saying those things. And if you're saying that I said them, I'm not you know, telling you you're a liar, but, you know, at the same time, I think you may have misinterpreted what I was saying about this, that, and the other. So, you know, you're going back and forth on all of this, and I might have just screwed up my whole damn liability claim. Um, but what, what, what she was saying was that I knew that there was a railing on the right going down the stairs, and therefore, I have no liability claim. And I said, well, yeah, I was in the house a while, but I mean, do you really pay attention to whether there's a railing. <laughs> you know what I mean? When, I mean, when you're healthy, okay? I mean, if you're handicapped, of course you're paying attention. But I mean, if you're healthy, I never really thought about the fact that there was no railing there until after the fact. And that's what I was telling her. I said, well, yeah, I, the reason I was telling you there was no railing there is because I went back to the house and I made a YouTube video, I called it the booger video, uh, about the fact that there was no railing there. And, uh, and, and she goes, well, you stated clearly that, that you know, that you knew there was, I said, no, I didn't. I, 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 look, I mean, should I have known that cause I'd been in that house for months cause I was on house arrest in Lynchburg, Virginia. Yeah, I guess. I mean, but I never really paid attention to it. And then even if, even if I did, you know, the fact that instinctually when you're falling, I mean, are you going to really think about, cause there was a railing on the left and you know, this might hurt my case, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to get money or anything, but those are, do you think to reach out when you're right hand, do you think to reach out with your left hand and get the railing? Now, the other thing that she said was that the lighting was good. 
and I and I said, well, yeah, I guess when the lights are on, it was 11 o'clock at night, and to be honest, you know, I said, I don't really remember anything. I mean, you know, other than there's one set of stairs, and then the next set of stairs, and somehow I took the first set of stairs. Now, whether I was going down there to do laundry, which there was a laundry basket and laundry there, but at the same time, I was throwing laundry down there, uh, so it could have been the laundry that I threw down. I don't know. To this day, I've got amnesia about the whole damn thing. And, uh, and that's what I was talking. She goes, well, you didn't mention amnesia. You said that you knew exactly you were going down there to do laundry. I said, well, that's what I assumed because we found laundry in the basement with a laundry basket. But, you know, I'm piecing these things together after the fact. And I have had some flashbacks of me kind of, I mean, I don't know for sure. But, I mean, you know, because I hit myself in the head, man. And I'm, I, I, I seem to recall, like, trying to stop my fall and there was nothing there. You know, because that's what you do. You reach with the right hand. Who, who doesn't have a right hand railing? All right, so that's that's the key. I mean, if you're ever going to file a claim with an insurance company, make sure you got a lawyer present. Don't do it the way that I did it and screw things up. So now I got to talk to a doggone lawyer and say, you know, how bad have I screwed this whole situation up? Because it likes, once again, you know, I did not know what I don't know. Okay, and, and you would have thought that tax person who's telling me to call up and, and I might have a claim that maybe, just maybe, they might have given me a little bit of advice, but be careful what you say to the insurance company or make sure you have a lawyer present when you're talking to the insurance company. Blah, 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 you know, and, and so anyway. But she did at least give me the tidbit to call because I wouldn't even known to file the claim in the first place. All right, so let's just get into the life uh, life in general. So today I got my MRI. Um, boy, I tell you, they, they, they're they funny as hell. Don't move, don't do anything. I, man, I fall asleep during there. You ever listen to them things? <laughs> Sounds like uh, uh, an alien invasion, <laughs> you know, when you're in there, you know. I mean, those earplugs, they, you know, that they give you. I, I completely forgot how loud those things were, and I should have brought my own damn earplugs because it was loud in there, but I, 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 I dare say, I think I fell asleep for a while. I, I just kind of like it, you know. I mean, actually, that vibration of the noise kind of feels good on me. Uh, the, unfortunately, they wanted me to wear a damn mask. And it wasn't, you know, wasn't the mask that I brought, one of them flimsy things that don't do no damn good. No, they wanted this little cut mask, which still don't do no damn good. But, I, you know, they wanted it over my face. I said, I said ma'am, you know, you got me pinned in here like a sardine. I said, you know, I can't. I, I can't breathe in this mask. I said, if you want me to survive this this MRI for 30 minutes in a chamber with my head locked in like somebody bolted it in place, I said, I got to at least be able to breathe through my nose. So they did let me pull the mask down just below my lip here. And, and you might say, well, you're in Florida. Why would you have to wear a mask? Because it's the damn VA, you know. You still got the federal government virtue signaling on everything. I love it when I still see Biden with that stupid mask on. <laughs> I wonder what they think of him at the UN or, you know, all these foreign leaders. And he's the only one that's got a mask on. Oh, my God, the damn Democrats. All right. So uh, and then then so I get done there. Now, one of the things that 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 I did, I just had a TV project and I well, I don't know, I think I've talked about this on a previous video was. Uh, you know, my wife took the TVs when she moved out, and so I just decided, you know, that I was going to get a decent TV. I bought a 65-inch, and I bought the Cat Daddy, the the, the, the TCL Series 6 Mini LED, uh, a thousand bucks. I, I mean, I'll just tell you the price. I don't mind telling you. And um, and so they delivered the TV, and I had this big TV, and I, I had the guy coming to install it, and so I had this wonderful plan. Uh, because the TV in my office is busted. I got it mounted up on the wall. It's on one of them arms <coughs> that you can bring out from the wall. But it'll hold up to 120 pounds. And so I was going to take a 55-inch TV that was my mom's old TV and put that up there. Well, a life hack, right? I didn't, you know, the bracket on the, on the TV that's on there, that the screws are this wide. Well, that won't fit the TV that I planned to mount. And, uh, and, and I panicked because I, the guy was coming the very next day to install everything. So I just got screwed. And I was going to take the 65 inch and put it on a stand. I've got a stand for it where you can swivel it. And, you know, you can because those two feet that they come with, you know, they're, they're new and doing damn good. But that's what I'm watching right now. So now I got to have the guy back out again. That's going to cost me another $100 probably to, to have him re 
mount the TV. And so in the meantime, I'm looking for the parts for the mount, but I can't find the information. The, the, I don't know why on TV mounts, they don't give you no damn information. I've, I've written it down. I've looked it up on, uh, I've Googled it. Everybody says, Google it. I've Googled it and uh, I can't find the information. So, so if you're going to get into a TV project like that, dot your I's and cross your T's. I mean, I had everything ready. I, I moved everything out of the office. I got everything out of his way. I cleared, I cleared a path for him to get to everything. I, I, I took the big box. You know, that's another thing. Why do you box a TV inside of a box? I mean, so, you know, I took that out and put it. I mean, I'm wondering what the neighbors were thinking. The god dang box is 70 inches big. Looks like I, you could, you could, it, yeah, well, in, in Brazil, they make a house out of it, you know, um, or they used to. I think Brazil might be doing better than we are now. Uh, but I guess I should take it to San Francisco. All right, so um, so that was that, that was that, and so the TV project did not go well, and uh, and so what I ended up doing was compromising, and I've got kind of a makeshift uh, TV in the in the office, and I've got the the 65 inch kind of hanging out here, and I can watch them both, but I'm in the middle of things. So the next thing was in the TV project, I'm, I'm, I'm emptying out the office. And that's that's what I wanted to show you in the video. These are some bookcases. I got the guy, you know, while you whenever you get somebody in to do some work for you on your handicap, get them to do some lifting for you. So I had a plant uh, thing out front, had him moved out the front door. Then these bookcases were in the office. I had him move them here. And then I had a couple bags of dirt in the back of the car and he carried them around to the back of the house for me. I gave him 20 bucks. He was happy with it. Took him all of 10, 15 minutes in addition to the, the, the job that would have taken him, you know, an extra hour. Instead, it took him, you know, a half an hour to just take the TV out the box, put some feet on it and lift it up. By the way, big, big guy. Uh, I can't remember his name. It's kind of a weird spelled name. Uh, big black guy. And uh, I tell you what, I, he, nice, nice, he, nice guy. I really enjoyed it. We had some fun. It was it was a good time. All right. So then. Um, <clears throat> uh, so today, you know, then I go from there now. So uh, the next thing was I had this old faded out shirt and uh, and I, my wife, uh, my ex-wife, when she moved out, she left. I mean, I, she used to have up in Michigan. She had closet upon closet upon closet of clothes. And I don't know what your wife is like. I don't, I, I, how many clothes can they wear? And then. When I was here in Florida, she would run the washer, you know, day after day after day. And I said, well, what do you do with the whole closet of clothes? I mean, if I had that much clothes, well, I do, you know, I do my laundry about once every month, month and a half. Once, you know, I'm, I'm not handicapped no more. I mean, or somewhat not handicapped. And uh, she'd do laundry. Well, I've only got a limited number of clothes. I said, you got closet, closets. Full. I mean, even here in Florida, she had closets full of clothes. But they can only wear certain ones at certain times, and then they got to wear them, you know, like every every third day or something. I, I don't know. Women are strange. Um, so anyway, what I was getting to was she left all these hangers behind. And so I was on a fact-finding mission. And the way it works at Goodwill is you really got to have something to give them if you're going to drive up to the window to 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 you know, hand them stuff. And all I wanted was to ask a question. So I gave him this crappy shirt and, uh, and then I, and a couple of hangers. And I said, I said, do you guys take hangers? And they said, yeah. So now I can get all these hangers, a thousand that she left behind. I got a crates full of them up in the attic and I can just start taking those on to Goodwill. And cause you know, I, I know the dry cleaners will take them somewhat. And then uh, I guess the last thing that I wanted to go over was, uh, you know, I'm still looking around the house, um, picking and choosing uh, stuff. So one of my um, UPS uh, power supplies uh, died that I have on the computers in the office. <clears throat> Do I really need another one? Not really, because I've already got one and that's all that I need. But it's always nice to have a backup. And I only bought the one that I had two years ago. So I probably got another, well, a year or two three left on that battery. Um, but then I thought, you know, dang on it while I'm at it, let's just go ahead because it now, so here's, here's what I'm going to tell you. If you deal with APC, that's all I deal with. They always have this trade up program <clears throat> and usually basically cost you. So the, I could have just replaced the battery, but it was a 2016 UPS, uh, back. It was called the, uh, back, uh, back pro back pro UPS. Anyway, I could have just replaced the battery 99 bucks, but it's, it's, 
it's just like a car. I mean, think about it. 26, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's six years old. So I said, well, you know, it's time to, to upgrade this puppy. And uh, yeah, did it cost a lot? It was, yeah, it was about 500 bucks, but that comes with the battery. And then, of course, I could. And that's the nice thing about UPS is they always take the old unit back. So I'll be shipping this one back. So now I got a, a, a smart UPS that's a backup to my my UPS that's in my office. Because you could. So what you could see is I'm rebuilding the office piecemeal. So the other thing that that I'm doing is is because my wife. Uh, I had to move a lot of her stuff into my office. Okay. So like she had this, uh, um, I don't know. She had these, the, 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 you remember the landlines? I mean, who has them anymore? But she bought, she bought the cat daddy system, you know, like six handheld units with the answer machine. And that's what she had up in Michigan. And, uh, she had just bought it and spent, I God knows hundreds of dollars on the damn thing. And I said, what is the point? And, and so of course, when we got to Florida, all she ever used was a cell phone and we never hooked up a landline system here in Florida. So that whole system has been sitting in my office. Well, it was time to be recycled. The other thing that made me feel nostalgic was uh, we had this portable DVD player and she left that behind in her closet in the master bedroom. And that's what I watched when I had cancer and I was in the hospital and she would bring me DVDs and I would sit there. There's a little screen about this big. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so absurd, but but and why she, I I know she kept it for sentimental reasons, but then of course you know once she discovered that she hated my guts and you know did a midnight run on me and moved out, you'd think she'd just throw that all away or or at least recycle it like I did. So I took that to Best Buy. So what I'm telling you is like I'm kind of going around the house. I'm still moving stuff out, moving stuff out. I got empty shelves in my office. Finally, thank God. So I'm 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 going to be reorganizing that. Um, and then, of course, I got some other stuff to go through because I can't find the parts for the stupid um, mount that I've got. Now, I can buy another mount for about 50 bucks, but I don't want to. And, and of course, also, the nice thing is you say, well, OK, it's, it's 50 bucks. Well, that, you say that again and again and again, and it's 50 bucks and 50 bucks and 50 bucks. It forces me to go through everything in that office and see if I can find the pieces to the mount that I've got. Okay, and I'm going to have to do that anyway. So, all right. The last thing was um, I'm making, I was working with my Walkman, and uh, the Walkman that I buy, like I told you, I buy the Cat Daddy. I got the CC Crane and the uh, Sanjin, and, uh, and, of course, they come with, one of them comes with, well, with the Walkman. It actually has a uh, recharging power cord, and so I wanted to make labels and label that power cord because, you know, it used to be I would keep the boxes. Well, God dang it, I'm trying to empty the house out, so it's time to get rid of those boxes, but I don't know about you, how many power supplies you got laying around the house, you know, or, uh, uh, you know, transformers, they're really transformers, and, uh, and so if you don't label the cord, you know, accordingly, and so I bought this brother uh, labeler a long time ago, but the tape for this thing is massively expensive, so I went up to Amazon, and, and of course, I got, it's not just labeling those i'm going to label everything in the office it, it, if you ever worked in a data center you label the input the output you label all of your audio cables your video cables i'm going to be labeling the the, the, the power cords uh you know everything and then of course i i still want to go backpacking and camping i've still got camping and backpacking gear just laying around the house i'm going to put all that into foot lockers you know and put it in the garage and make labels for all of those so i needed a ton of tape well i went up online and i bought 10 tapes for 30 bucks now it's an off brand and will it work out i don't know i don't know what that's one thing i got um you know so and, and then here's another example uh this is a this is an uh, alarm clock that i bought for camping uh, the thing that I liked is it had this little uh, projection camera so you could see the time on top of the tent and my wife thought it was stupid. It was battery operated and uh, it's somewhere. Well, I, it might have gotten, you know, taken in the great purge of Lynchburg, Virginia, because I might have had it with me in the in the stuff that I took up there. But this is the box for it. And so what I do is I go through the, the box and I record all the information about these devices in a file on the computer. Of course, then then back it up uh, to a whatever backup device you're going to use, UPS drive. And uh, and then 
Uh, and then, of course, anything that's in the box, you got to make sure you organize it properly, label it properly, and then throw away the box. And so I'm kind of doing that. That's why I wanted to show you this box. Um, you can see these, uh, these uh, I, by the way, I, I don't know if you ever use egg crates. Egg crates are great for storing stuff in. I, the reason I got these was my wife, uh, she was, I um, can't remember, it was something that was going on either with, the, I think it was with her eye. Uh, and I had to take her back and forth to Gainesville, Florida. And uh, But right next door, there was this milk place or something, or maybe it might have been a cafeteria for the hospital. And they had all these milk crates just sitting outside, and they, I guess they just throw them away. So I just started grabbing milk crates every time I went up. And so I got a ton of these now, and they're great for putting stuff down in. And, uh, and so I, and that's another thing. So I'm going through the milk crates and emptying them out. Last thing I will get on to is uh, these are electrostatic bags. Now, what I would do is every time I get something like a motherboard or a, a video card or a, a hard drive that comes in one of these, I just save the bags and then I reuse them. Um, and, but, you know, one of the things that I do want to do now that uh, we're threatened with global thermonuclear war, because <laughs> I think the globalists, the Biden administration is going to get us into a war. So I want to make sure that I get my electronics in, in static bags. And so I, you know, I said, well, you know what? I'm saving all this stuff. This stuff's not, you know, in the best quality or the best shape. And I thought, well, you know, maybe, I wonder how much these cost. Well, I, I can't remember. It was like 10 bucks for a bunch of these up at Amazon. So I bought a bunch of them and all of my uh, flashlights, all of my headlamps, all my, um, um, you know, little uh, pop-up LED lights that I use for camping, all those are going to go in, um, Fair. these are Faraday bags, more or less. They call them electrostatic bags. And that way, uh, you know, if there is a nuclear pulse that comes through and wipes all the electronics out, all of my stuff will be okay. And uh, you might say, well, that's just stupid. Why would you <laughs> put your electronics? But it was cheap, so why not do it, right? Uh, so here's another here's another thing. So that they threw away my uh, Sanjin radio up in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, or stole it. I, I'm pretty sure they stole it. And so I bought two more. So now I got three power cords to two Sanjin radios, and I just put them in this nice little bag and and uh, and I labeled them. I labeled the the power cords with the brother on both sides so that you know if I do you know because years later I might discover this bag and go what the hell is this bag? But you know now. Truthfully, because I do use, when I move around the house, I listen to the radio and I listen to the TVs. I listen to radio, I listen to TVs. So yeah, I'll probably be just keeping these out and plugging in the radio and that way I don't use the batteries all the time. Okay, and then uh, the last thing was the food. I just wanted to get into the food a little bit. I don't, I know you're seeing the price increases. I know I am. Um, I, I, uh, I, I love these. They're not that expensive as compared, well, at least here in Florida. And these are the Campari, Campari tomatoes. I like them because you slice them in half. Put I like salt on them, and then you just you just eat it like a snack. And to me, it's the greatest snack ever. And look, you know, for one person, I'll go through these. You know, I, I might not eat them all, but you know, that it, I'm not out that much money. The other thing was uh, I bought. I had to have some watermelon. And you can buy that prepackaged watermelon that comes in the little container. But if you just buy a sliver, I bought a quarter of a watermelon. It's like three fifty. Okay, now will I eat it all before it goes bad? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but it's a crap load of watermelon for one person. And uh, but it was only four bucks versus a little container about this big was three bucks. So. I got like four containers this big for four bucks versus one container for three bucks. So, you know, that's how you got to kind of do things. And so, yeah, do you end up feeling guilty and throwing out some of the watermelon? Yeah, you might. Uh, all right. Well, I guess that's it for this video. It's just a life hack video. Uh, I just like to tell these stories so that maybe, you know, you might encounter something similar in life. Uh, you notice I'm not wearing the neck brace. Uh, uh, what they got me doing now is, is stretching my neck. And so what I like to do is, is get the muscles all hardened up before I watch TV tonight. Uh, I'm going to watch, uh, well, you know, watch a movie. And, uh, and then I just take the neck and I start doing my stretches. So if I keep it in the brace, I don't, I don't work the muscles in the back. Because you see what they did when the surgery was they cut all that muscle out of the back so that they could get to the spine. 
and uh, fix the spine. So uh, that muscle's still healing, and you know I'm trying to strengthen it. So as the more time I spend without the brace, and the more time I spend stretching, the better off I am. But at the same time, it's it's painful, and sometimes you just want some relief from the pain. Oh, uh, getting to uh, prescriptions. Um, so I I I. I get my prescriptions through the VA. I don't know what it's like for you. And uh, I didn't really think about this, but you know, I just kind of take them as I need them. Um, so I'm not taking a sleeping pill every damn night, but some nights, you know, I got to have it, man. And, and so I'm getting kind of low. So today I was at the VA and uh, you know, my doc, I don't know what yours does, but he wrote them out for about I, at least two prescriptions worth. And so I just said, look, can you just, when, when, the, when the prescription comes due, can you get me another round? And they're like, oh, you already passed it. You can get another round now. I said, well, yeah, send me another round of sleeping pills, man. All right, peace out. Oh, the last thing was this key. <laughs> I've had it in my hand the whole damn video. So, uh, you know, one of the things I've been wanting to do was make a video about all the, uh, the features of the Toyota Prius Prime, which I've done, and that'll be on a different... Uh, 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 well, I don't know what you call them, playlist, a different playlist in my channel. And, uh, and I've already talked about a lot of this stuff, but dang on it. When I hit my head, I guess I forgot. So I'm, one of the things that I'm trying to relearn how to do is how to lock the key. And I, I want to see you press the lock button twice and the release once or anyway, I'm going to make a video about this and I want to make a video about all the settings in the car uh, there's, there's some, that I'm going to go back and review those videos, but I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of new stuff that it's going to pop into my head because when I was driving down here, uh, with, you know, when I was just completely disabled, um, I, I could, there was a lot of things I couldn't remember how to do. Hell, just, just, just today I wanted to, to shorten or lengthen the, um, the range on the, uh, uh, the automatic cruise control. I couldn't figure out how to do it, so I got to get into that manual. Peace out, stay free. Oh, yeah, great to live in the free state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And as I always say, if you're a Democrat, you know, you'll love it in California or Illinois or New York. You know, I mean, you don't want to come here with all these Republicans around everywhere. No, 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 no. Go to a Democrat state where you're going to be happy. All right. Peace out. Stay free.